Hello again, Mouse here on the uh, next instalment of the process of removing the rust from the sunken sidecar of Doom chassis using process of electrolysis. Um, it's been going for about 60 hours now. Uh, uh, and as you can see, we've got quite a build up of, uh, of rusty coloured sort of foam and bubbles on the surface, and you can see it's all quite, quite rusty. Um, the current has dropped down to about uh, 10 amps and that's because there is a bit of a leak on the bath and I've had to put the hose in it and uh, give it a bit of a, a top up every now and again so um, I'm assuming that the concentration has weakened rather than anything else so what I'm going to do now is release the water um, I'm going to knock the side off the bath here and uh, then see what's on the inside so uh, And here we have it, the electrolysized sidecar chassis. Um, I'm kind of, kind of glad I put the welder up on a couple of bricks, or was it an old tyre? Otherwise that would have been uh, submerged and we'd have had more sparks and fire. So I've just realised I've left the thing on. So if you can move out the way, go on, out the way! Oh, it's a tyre I put it on. There we are. There we go. And what you're probably interested in is the state of the chassis. So here we go, it's a typical area. And look at that. Back to the bare. The bare steel. You can even see a weld in it there, look. Let's try the other end. All loose and coming away. Just how we wanted it. That would have taken hours with a wire brush or a chipping hammer. Quite definitely back to just about the bare steel with a, this black layer of whatever it is on there, but still, I think we'll call that a complete success. So there we have it, electrolysis on large items works. <laughs> 